Well, I'm here today to inspire and engage young people about really to try and think outside the box. Really, what it is they want to do um, when they get their GCSEs, when they move on to university, but also really looking for opportunities where they can craft their own niche, where they can create an opportunity for themselves that don't, doesn't currently exist. So really, I'm trying to here to inspire and motivate young people to think about their self-esteem and really where that motivation and confidence can take them in the world. So the point I want to share to you initially at the start of this exercise is that if you have an idea for something, you don't have to become the lawyer. You don't have to become the doctor. You don't have to become the teacher. Sorry, teachers. <laughs> it's a great career. But if you have an idea which involves technology, there is lots of opportunity out there. Back when I was doing this sort of stuff, there was no opportunity. Nobody was investing in this sort of stuff. So the opportunities are there. I think it's very important for, for young people to be aware of their self-esteem because we live in such a competitive world now. Um, I mean, you have to look for opportunities really to stand out from the crowd. So it's really looking at how you can leverage social media, how can you, you can use platforms such as Twitter and LinkedIn to build your personal profile. Because what's happening now is that employers are looking for opportunities for young people online. They're advertising their jobs and they're going to these platforms to try and recruit people. Um, so it's very important that from an early age we're very aware of our self-confidence, that we work on our self-confidence and also that we think about how can we create opportunities which is going to get us jobs in the future. Getting involved in the programme, it opens up a whole range of ideas and really helps them discover what they intend to do with their career plan, whether it's further education, going on to VTechs, going on to colleges. If you're surrounded by people who don't aspire to be anything else other than just what everyone else is, you can fall into that trap and that, having a good role model really can inspire. I think the pupils have taken a lot away from today's experience. Um, I've talked at length really about the opportunities which, which exist um, outside of their GCSEs and outside of university. There's opportunities for everybody out there. It's all about creating your own opportunity. It's about thinking outside the box. But fundamentally, I think the message that I highlighted to young people today and what they're taking away from today's session is that if they have the confidence and if they have the motivation, and also I suppose if they can find their passion and their purpose, it can really take them anywhere in the world. So my challenge to you is to think carefully about all the opportunities that are out there. Because there are so many opportunities out there, what you will do at the end of your GCSEs will be different than you'll probably be doing in two to three years' time. And it's okay if you don't know what you want to do, because sometimes I still ask myself the question, do I know what I want to do? I think the Aspire programme needs to go to every school in Northern Ireland because these are sort of the things that young people need to hear. First of all, they need to have people coming in who can share their story, who can share their real life example, but who can share it in a positive and inspiring way. They also need to look at ways to think about what sort of character are they, what sort of personality are they. And I think the Aspire programme, at least for me today and the young people that I spoke to, has highlighted that they can think about what sort of personality do they have and also what sort of opportunity does that personality lend itself to.